we're going to be talking about some simple heart openers that anyone can add to their practice. Uh, go ahead and grab the essential oil that I recommended for this video. And when you're applying to heart openers, you can just do your wrists or you can also do your heart one or the other. You can do both, but make sure you take time to take some deep inhales. It's a great reason to have it on your wrists. It's a lot easier to smell there. So when we're talking about heart openers, we're really just talking about expanding here and almost like thinking about, <laughs> this is going to show my age, uh, Care Bears and how they do that Care Bear stare and they're shining all their love forward. Uh, so it's really going to be about shining that heart forward. So let's just go ahead and start with some neck rolls. So yes, this is for the throat chakra, but I like to loosen up the neck every time so we don't get those funny little crooks when we start moving. And then big shoulder rolls. Now notice when I'm rolling my shoulders down my back, oh, I'm really shining my heart forward. Big inhales and exhales. And inhale, shine the heart forward. Exhale, wrap yourself in love. And cat cow seated or traditional is also a heart opener. And I want you to think about it as the heart shining forward and then shining backwards. So inhale, chin up, heart open. Exhale, can you tell that heart is now shining towards the back? Inhale, we're shining our heart forward. Exhale, shine the heart towards the back. And now coming to our hands and knees. Yet again, cat cow. Inhale, shine that heart forward. Exhale, shine your heart all the way to the sky. Good, and then we're gonna come down to our bellies and we're just gonna push up into Sphinx. So in Sphinx, elbows are right underneath the shoulder. Our fingers are spread wide. That's just good practice for a lot of our yoga poses. And that way we can press into those fingers Notice your palm lifts when you press into your fingers. That takes pressure off the wrists. I'm pressing into the tops of my feet so much that my thighs lift up and then rolling those shoulders down and back and shining that heart forward. The neck should be in a comfortable position here. So we're not straining our, our neck back, our neck back, but we are shining our heart forward. And then you can release and then sit back up into that. Make sure you're still breathing. Breathe all the way into your belly. Are you shining your heart forward like a Care Bear? And then I want to show you one more we're going to do, supported fish. And if you only like one of these, you know, you can put on your oil and just do one of these. You can do them as a set. Um, you can do a couple that you really are drawn to. So I have the bolster right against my back. There is a block under it. And take time to get comfy because this is a restorative pose. So you want it to feel amazing. You're probably going to be here for five to 20 minutes, whatever um, you want to do. And I want you to just kind of notice how open my heart is. Palms can be up, that means we're ready to receive. Palms can be down, ready to let go of something. And I would just set a timer. If you do music, I recommend one without a beat, one without words. Deep inhales and exhales to settle in, and then eventually you'll just settle into your natural breath. So start out for just a few minutes, maybe even two, three. And if you enjoy this, building up to five, seven, ten, twenty. 
come out of it, we'll just start wiggling our fingers and our toes. Blink your eyes a few times. You'll slowly come up to a comfortable seated position. Take a few inhales. Maybe sigh it out. 